hello everyone welcome back to the channel thanks for tuning in to another one here on the coach's desk we appreciate you and as usual we ask you to like share and subscribe to the channel yeah man this is where we take it from shock side yeah the podcast and of course this is another one uh episode three yes this is episode three of the road to jamaica national trial so definitely we have big things lined up for you my people and we'll get in We'll be getting right into it at this particular time. So, yeah, we, we looked at the 400 meters and now it's time to look at the 200 meters on the men and women's side. But in this episode, episode three, we'll certainly delve into the women's 200 meters. So, first and foremost, Sherika Jackson. Yeah, man, Sherika Jackson will be in the 200 meters and... Yeah, she started the season away 20, 22.8, 22.6. Yeah. And it 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 is it is what it is at the moment. Um but from, from what we are hearing is that things are going to be explosive at the national trials. Yeah, man, it's gonna be explosive at the national trials. And we have to look out for Sherika Jackson. Trust me, if that is the case, we're going to be expecting something in the region of uh, 21 point something. <laughs> Let us see. I know a lot of people have their concerns that, you know, because of how the season started, how things um, kicked off. But listen, when you have tuned vehicle, you know, I get everything. You know, I get all the R score right away. You get what I say? So you have to look out for Sherika Jackson. Shelly will also be um in the 200 meters, but I I I I have my doubts. You understand that Shelly will be basically trying to vie for a spot, um. But definitely we'll we'll certainly see what that is all about when it comes around trials. You understand? So not much to say about Shelly, but it's just that she's in the 200 meters. Elaine, yes. Elaine Thompson era will not be defending her 200 meters title at the Olympic Games because she has not been entered, not declared for the 200 meters. So we will have a new champion come the Olympic Games. No Elaine Thompson era. I you know when I was writing down the list, I put an asterisk beside her name. You understand? Yeah, man, there was an asterisk beside her name, the 200 meters. Cause we have a book and we write down everything in our seat there. Eh? Yeah, man, we have we have a red book. You see me? I say, we write down everything. And there's an asterisk actually beside her name. But it is what it is, and we just have to move on. And we wish her all the best in the 100 meters. Lani. Lani is an athlete that is doing well this season. Part of the four by two record by her, her, her team over there in texas say um it is a very very good team and i do believe that she has a propensity to make this team she's one of them that will be in contention at the racers grand prix she ran a decent race i understand very very good run and the fans are very excited to have a, 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 a lani on board because the last time she qualified however she wasn't able to compete because of documentation so it's good to have Lani with us and I'm looking forward for a, something special from her in the 200 meters. Um, as we go into the 100 meters, we'll be talking about some of these at least twice and she's one of them. Kevona Davis. Yes, Kevona Davis is not declared for the 100 meters, but she's declared for the 200 meters. Yes, Kevona Davis. She has had a very um, tough season. Congratulations to her, though she 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 matriculated and graduated from her institution. However, when it comes on the track and field, it wasn't the best season for her. She had injury concerns and all of these things, so the times weren't as fluid as we would want them to be. So, uh, Kevona, she'll be competing in this 200 meters, and I think she has a very good chance of competing because she'll be doing one uh, very good chance of making the team because I do believe that she um being that she's doing one event that might give her a fresh um you know ride than anybody else um sasha, sasha lee forbes 
she's one of them that normally does the double. Um, Sasha Lee, I think, um, for me, over the years, I always think that Sasha Lee is a very good one to runner. Huh? Um, I don't think she spends a lot of time on the 200 meters, but she's a, a, a competent 200 meter runner. So I'm looking forward to her doing um, exceptionally well here as well. Jodine Williams, her teammate, will be in that one as well. Jodine, good athlete. She looked good this season since she made that switch to, 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 to Sprint Tech. So um, it's just for her now to uh, capitalize on the opportunity that is presented to her. Ashanti Moore, she switched um, to the GC Foster College uh, Sprint Tech team as well. And um, she had a, a decent um, 200 meters. I think she had a PB or, or, or a season best. I, I, I can't quite remember, but Ashanti is a good athlete that can, you know, do something. I'll just uh, seek to be in this one. One athlete that I want to make a mention of is Dijane Oakley. Dijane Oakley is a little dynamo. She's a little warrior. We have to look out for this kid. Have to. She's in fine form. The only drawback is that these guys would have been on the NCAs and running and running and running. But she has a very good chance. Big chance of making it to the final. I, I, I believe that. And, and she has been running fast. When I look at the transformation that has taken place, she was a quarter miler. But somehow they have trans, uh, uh, put her, step her down to the two and the 100 meters. And it has been working well for her. So let's see how she can uh, maneuver herself against these top, uh, top athletes. Naisha Berger is also one the former Elixelsia athlete. She has a very good chance. I think she has a time of 20, 22.3, um, 22.4. So she is in that range. And I do believe that that range would be a very good range for her. To, 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 to start out with, I think she was very disappointed at the NCAs uh, because her, her ability um, basically can tell us that she can do better. So I hope um, her coach would have, you know, gone back to the drawing board and see how best they can, you know, fix this thing. And, and, and she just come to the trials and do an excellent job. Yeah, man. So uh, Shanoya Douglas, the youngster, will be trying to make the senior team as well as the junior team because these events will be held on the same day. So let's see how best um, um, Shanoya can, you know, go through the rounds with these big guns. Tia Clayton, quite a big surprise here. Quite a big surprise here to see Tia Clayton in the 200 meters. And guess what? No Tina Clayton. The, the, if my memory serves me well, Tia Clayton is the one that normally runs the 100 and tina is the one that does the one two double however things have shifted since they are at mvp and tia is the one that is doing the double now so that is very very interesting interesting is it tell us is is, is that telling us that um tia is 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 is, is way ahead of her, 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 her twin is that the case or there's some potential that is unearthing or that has been there for quite some time and T, Tia is really coming to the fore. For me, when these youngsters were running, I, I, I believe that Tia was the better athlete. But, you know, she slacked off. Tina went to the drawing board and started to put in the work. And it went um, a little, um, you know, downhill for, for, for Tia. But now she's back with the MVP club. And she is seems to be working and is uh, ahead of her sister so let's see what tia will bring in this one kashika cameron of the um elite track performance will also be in this one yannick dale we have brianna williams it's been a while brianna has run a, a one two double but let's see what she has to bring because of course you know that she switched camp as well right in the middle of the season so let's see what that coach will be able to do to get her ready for this double crystal slowly is also doing the one two double at the trials and we have to look out for crystal slowly not one of the best 200 meter runners but she has been running 200 meters let's see how um this 
help her to prepare for our 100 meters or how the 100 meters will help her to prepare for this? Is it a case where it has been used for her to do, do uh, additional runs? It could be a case, but let's see what will come out of that. Natasha Morrison is also entered for the 200 meters and definitely we look forward to see these ladies competing. But one thing I can say is that not everybody in the 200 meters or on these lists in this these episode that we'll be doing will be mentioned because there's quite uh several uh athletes that are registered and we won't be able to talk about all of these athletes in detail just giving you a synopsis of the persons that i believe will be the ones that you know will can come to the fore in these particular events so thanks for tuning in of course share your comment in the comment section and we look forward to the next episode episode four will be coming up with the men's 200 meters until next time people stay safe and please remember to like share and subscribe to the channel until next time i'm out